Hi there, welcome to my channel. This is Homeschooling with a Smile. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what we are using for our manipulatives to go along with our Saxton Math um, Home Study Kit for Grade 1. Someone had asked me if I would do a video, and, um, and this is it. Okay, so I'm going to jump right into it. Um, I purchased a manipulatives package through Rainbow Resources. Uh, where I picked up the Saxton math kit, home study kit. Um, so I looked for a Saxton um, brand manipulative kit and I couldn't find one. I mean, I know they sell them because I've seen other people who um, have bought it through Saxton. But anyway, um, I called up the Rainbow Resources and they let me know, and I think I said this in my other video, that they sell manipulatives for the math curriculum that is sold on their website. So they basically put together packages and then um, you can go on and select what package you want. Some things have um, just the right amount of stuff, some things have uh, maybe just the right amount of stuff plus a couple extras, and then there are packages that go um, above and beyond, I think, uh, stuff that you need for the curriculum that you get. So um, this particular package that I'm going to show you was around $53. Okay, and it's still on the website now, so if you went, you could um, check it out for yourself. Um, and it comes with everything you need um, to teach Saxton Math 1, with the exception, I believe, of dominoes. Um, there's some household items that it asks you to use, um, and those are things pretty much everyone has on hand. The only additional thing, like I said, was dominoes, and I didn't get the domino package just because it was a, a little more than what I wanted to spend to just get that and a few other things that I didn't think was necessary. So I decided I would just find them in the house someplace. They're kicking around here somewhere. Okay, so what I got in the package was this really cool balance. Looks like it comes from Learning Resource. Um, and it has this little drawer that you open up and you can keep your manipulatives in here for when it's time to use them for weights. You get two geo boards, a yellow and a red, with these rubber bands. You get a large um, teacher demonstration clock. Sorry, my kids are keeping busy watching Despicable Me right now. Um, there's two Judy clocks. You get a large 100 um, shape package of the um, pattern blocks. You get two plastic rulers and they're pretty good quality. Um, they're hard plastic. You get a bag of these interlocking uh, cubes. You get a 1 to 100 chart in the back. Um, it's dry erase so your kiddos can write their numbers from 1 to 100. It also came with this other 1 to 100 chart that has some um, cool learning ideas for how to do the chart. And on the back, let me flip that. On the back, it has a vowel chart and a consonant chart for some reason. Um, but I'll, it's useful, we'll use it somehow. Okay, so that is basically it. That's the kit for around $50 that I got from Rainbow Resources. I also purchased additional items um, for math in general for my kids. And I'll show you what I got in case um, you're looking for some additional ideas of what you can use for, for manipulatives. <clears throat> we just in general like to play with manipulatives um, and it helps the kids uh, with math. It helps them to like stay interested um, and it also extends lessons. So we picked up these um, centimeter cubes from Rainbow Resource. Um, I originally got a package of only like 20, but we ended up really liking them, so I ordered the 100 package. It's just really good for um, pincer grasp for my little guy. Um, they're colorful and they're um, they're nice manipulatives. They're hard plastic too, so they're durable. I also purchased this um, time flips this clock demonstration that like sits up on the table like this 
and it's really good for um, time activities, for demonstration, things like that. I got another chart that's uh, a place value flip chart. Um, it's good when we're working with money and place value in general. It stands up on the table as well. I purchased these in the garden critter counters. There's 72 of them in six different colors, and this is great for one-to-one -one correspondence, um, color recognition, um, just number recognition. We really like using these. They're bigger for my little guy, and um, my girls like them as well, and they're good quality. I also got, we're really like, Time is one of the things that we are really concentrating on. Um, and so I got this fun game. We've already played this and the, the girls really like it. Um, they match the time with the number puzzle that shows on the um, analog clock. And um, if it fl you flip over the puzzle piece, it's to the half hour of all the, the times. And it comes with these cool die. And then it also has these other types of puzzles where um, you demonstrate a time or you just say a time. Like for example, time for school is eight o'clock and they'd have to write it in with dry erase marker and then um, show the time on the clock. So that's really fun. And another game we got, which has proven to be super fun, is this um, Take 10 game. It's um, a color bug catcher game. So the idea of this game, and I'll quickly show you. My son loves this game. If he sees it, he's going to want to play it. So basically dump all the critters on the carpet is how we do it. And we sit in a circle around it. Um, each person gets a tweezer. This only comes with two, but we pass it when it's our turn. You get a tweezer, it's shaped like a crocodile, and um, you get, we can play it in a minute, okay? Um, so then um, what you do is you, you get the, the die, you're going to roll a number die, and you're going to roll a color die. So six red. So then um, the person whose turn it is would get their tweezers, and then they would pick up, right bud? Pick up six red, and then basically just put them in their pile. Um, I can't do it with my left hand. Okay, so they would pick up six red. You get the idea. And um, and then the next person's turn. And basically, at the end of the game, when there's no critters left, the person with the most bugs wins. So it's a really cute, cute, fun game. It It's very short, and the kids just love it. It helps them with counting. It helps them with color. Um, it, it's just really fun. great for um, strengthening the pincer because of the tweezers. The tweezers are kind of hard, even for me to do. So it's been really, really fun. Um, but anyway, those are the manipulatives that we are using for our math and in general for fun math activities uh, for learning. I hope this video was helpful. If it has been, please give it a thumbs up and like my like my channel, subscribe, and um, pretty soon I'll be doing some more curriculum um, videos, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.